Lent, a time to renew, fifth Sunday of Lent. Opening Prayer Father, help me to rise out of foolish pride and help me to know and to love who I really am. Amen. Bible Readings Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 12 to 14 Therefore, prophecy and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know what I, the Lord, have spoken, and I have done it, declares the Lord. Romans chapter 8 verses 8 to 11 Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are in the realm of the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death, because of sin, the Spirit gives life, because of righteousness. And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, who raised Christ from the dead, will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. John chapter 11 verses 1 to 45 The death of Lazarus Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sister sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. When he heard this, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory, so that God's Son may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. And then he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. But Rabbi, they said, a short while ago, the Jews there tried to stone you and yet you are going back. Jesus answered, are there not twelve hours of daylight? Anyone who walks in daytime will not stumble, for they see by this word's light. It is when a person walks at night that they stumble, for they have no light. After he said this, he went on to tell them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. His disciples replied, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get better. Jesus had been speaking of his death, but his disciples thought he meant natural sleep. So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sake I am glad I am not there, so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Then Thomas, also known as Didymus, said to the rest of his disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God 
will give you whatever you ask jesus said to her your brother will rise again martha answered i know he will rise again in the resurrection the last day jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life the one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die do you believe this yes lord she replied i believe that you are the messiah the son of god who is to come into the world after she had said this she went back and called her sister mary aside the teacher is here she said and is asking for you when mary heard this she got up quickly and went to him now jesus had not entered the village but was still at the place where martha had met him when the jews who had been with mary in the house comforting her noticed how quickly she got up and went out they followed her supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there when mary reached the place where jesus was and saw him she fell at his feet and said lord if you had been here my brother would have not died when jesus saw her weeping the jews who had come along with her also weeping he was deeply moved in the spirit and troubled where have you laid him he asked come and let come and see lord they replied jesus wept then the jews said see how he loved him but some of them said could not he could not he who, who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying jesus once more deeply moved came to the tomb it was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance take away the stone he said but lord said martha the sister of the dead man by this time there is a bad order for he has been there four days then jesus said did i not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of god so they took away the stone then jesus looked up and said father i thank you that you have heard me i knew that you always hear me but i said this time for the benefit of the people standing here that i may believe that you sent me when he had said this jesus called in a loud voice lazarus come out the dead man came out his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face jesus said to them take off the grave clothes and let him go therefore many of the jews who had come to visit mary and had seen what jesus did believed him meditation reflect on proverbs 17:22 a cheerful heart is a good medicine closing prayer lord teach me what is important enough to demand what is best left alone amen